Hello everyone. In the last two videos, we have discussed about the economic and environmental impacts of tourism. To continue the discussion, we will talk about the socio-cultural impact today. There are positive as well as negative impacts. So some of the positive impacts are preservation of national heritage, revitalization of non-industrialized regions, rejuvenation of local art and crafts, revival of social and cultural life. Talking about the negative impacts, we have commodification, standardization, staged authenticity, adaptation to tourist demands, cultural clashes, irritation, and increase in crime. Let's now discuss these one by one. The positive impacts. Preservation of national heritage. We have a rich national heritage. Almost every part of the country has contributed towards the heritage by means of historical buildings like monuments. However, it's ironic that some of these are overlooked due to less footfall of tourists. To attract tourists, these monuments can be preserved, in turn, preserving the national heritage. Revitalization of non-industrialized regions. Tourists are attracted to local tradition, art, craft, and handicrafts, etc. They tend to buy souvenirs that are traditional and indigenous in nature. This has twofold benefit for the area. One, it keeps the art alive. Second, there is infrastructural development and improvement in income of people as we had already discussed in the economic impacts of tourism. Rejuvenation of local arts and crafts. The local arts and crafts are promoted, tourists are attracted towards them, and it helps to keep the native arts from becoming extinct. Now, art and crafts are very fragile in nature. And we have already mentioned that the tourist gets attracted to these local traditions and indigenous handicrafts. The region reaps the benefits of this as it keeps this art alive and also influence others to take up the same and hence promoting it. Revival of social and cultural life. We all play our part in the societal system that we are a part of. We all learn from each other being a part of the society. Therefore, when the native people come in contact with the tourist, cultural exchange takes place with exchange of values. With the increase in the income, lifestyle improves and hence the societal upliftment takes place. So it's very important for a country. Now we will discuss the negative impacts one by one. Commodification. Arts, crafts, dance styles all have traditional importance. However, when more and more tourists turn in, they merely become a show business to meet the expectation of the tourist. Rituals, arts, festivals are reconstructed to the tourist expectation and becomes a show business. They are treated just like commodities and hence lose their essence. Standardization. There are a lot of tourists who prefer standard products because they are acquainted with them. They include food, drinks, etc. Due to standardization in the native food and beverages don't fetch so much attention and revenue. Even to get in the race, they may lose the flavor forever. Staged authenticity. Tradition like dances and traditional welcome have just become a play on the stage and one does not even experience them in the real life. It's because we are trying to adapt our cultural expressions to the tastes of the tourists. 
the real life is fading in front of the real life adaptation to the tourist demand to fulfill the demands of the tourists the handicrafts and other crafts have evolved and in this process they have lost their basic essence that means the changes in the handicraft souvenir according to the tourist demand and we have already discussed this in this video because this leads to commodification cultural clashes what is important for an individual may not carry the same value for another when a large number of tourists walk into a destination there can be clashes of the values they carry and the values deemed important by the natives they may also face opposition for the same this happens when we have a difference in cultures values religions etc and we exploit the social carrying capacity of a destination that means that more number of people reach a destination than it can tolerate irritation when the values get ignored which are the cultural values or the religious values then there can be a euphoria and this euphoria has got three stages first a feeling of lack of interest which is apathy second a feeling of being annoyed with the people who are coming in which is called irritation and finally a public display of opposition may also occur which is antagonism to refer to this in detail anyone or everyone in that for that matter can read in detail about doxies iridex increase in crime now the tourists wherever they go they take a lot of valuable things and money with them that may attract criminals the second thing which worries in crime is the drug menace in recent times tourists are either involved in this trade or are trapped in it so much that the drug tourism term is coined for it now if you want to read all this in detail you can follow these references in the next video we will enter one of the most important pillars of tourism accommodation we'll enter the hotels thank you and have a nice day